In this recording, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a count statement, which will allow you to write a block of code that will run as many times as you tell it to. We're going to create a program where the coach here will say, sing 99 bottles of beer on the wall. So we're going to need a local variable, which needs to be an integer. Remember, integer represents a whole number. We will name it beer. And we will start with 99 bottles. Other integer, 99, OK, OK. So it creates an integer, which is a whole number, does not have a decimal point, named beer, and the equal sign sets a value to it. So we're declaring it right here and initializing it to 99 at the same time. Then we're going to need to do a count. And we want this to run 99 times. We could have actually set it equal to the variable beer, and it would do exactly the same thing because the beer is equal to 99. But since we're going to be changing beer during the program, I don't want it to get confusing. 99 is the total number of times it will run. In programming, in Java, this is done using a for next statement. For integer i, it's declaring a new integer named i, initializing it to 0, while i is less than n, which is 99, I++, plus plus, which it means it's just going to increment and it's going to count 99 times. So we're going to drag our statement here. We want to have the coach say and it's going to be 99 we're going to want to space bottles of beer on the wall. And what we want to do is we actually want to put the 99 in front of that. So we're going to have to add something in front of it. So we're going to add beer plus other string, which is bottles of beer on the wall. So we have the coach saying beer, it will start with 99, plus bottles of beer on the wall. Note that I put a space between the quote and the first letter so that it displays. Now I can just copy this statement. Edit this. have the coach say take one down pass it around and then it should change numbers so we actually have to change our variable so we have to grab our local variable beer and equal to itself so beer now equals beer, but we want it to decrease by one, so it should be beer minus one. That'll make it 98. And then we can hit, just copy this statement here. And let's test it. Oh, I have an error. I didn't actually copy it. I moved it. Let's try copying it. There we go. Now let's try it. Okay, that appears to be working just fine. Let's make sure it ends correctly. And you'll notice I'm playing it 10 times as fast as it should, and I did not set those up to be equal to 2 seconds. This should end at 0. When I get close to the end, I'll let it go back to normal speed. But it appears to be counting down just the way that it should.
Now really in the last one I should remove the S, but that would take an if statement. I'm not going to add that. So it works the way I intended it to. There you go. Simple program performing 99 times. Much faster than writing this block of code 99 times. And that is an example of a loop.